<clears throat> Thank you, uh, Chair Shaheen and Vice Chair Moran for your, your comments. Uh, Director Ray, we've known each other for a number of years, and I, I just tell you some of my concerns. 21 victims. There's 21 families uh, wake up in the morning with broken hearts. Uh, those, of, those of us who've had, whether we've had children or not, but those who've had children and grandchildren, we think 19 children murdered. Well, this is a gun violence is a, it's an epidemic. It can't be ignored. It can't be overstated. It can't be hidden behind the guise of an unassailable Second Amendment argument. I don't want to politicize or overreact. I'm just, I'm angry. I'm extremely angry that 19 more children and two adults who were fighting to protect them have been murdered, murdered, murdered. I'm angry that today too many in Congress are just willing to accept these mass shootings. There's another breaking news story as part of our daily lives. Oh, we'll pray for the victims. Of course we pray for the victims. But what the hell are we doing to stop further victims? I've owned firearms responsibly my entire life. I support a strong Second Amendment. I spent eight years in law enforcement. But simple common sense and what should be our shared humanity compel us to not simply quietly acknowledge the crisis. We all know that it's a crisis, but then do something about it. <clears throat> Nearly 10 years ago, a murderer took the lives of 26 people, including 20 children at Sandy Hook. I led the Senate Judiciary Committee's action to advance legislation to help address the epidemic of gun violence. And two years ago, as Vice Chairman of the, then Vice Chairman of the Appropriations Committee, I worked to break through the years-long refusal to provide the CDC and the NIH with resources to simply study the roots of gun violence. The, the gun lobby had blocked for years even having a study of gun violence. But now we need more. And we gotta stop saying, well, next week, next month, not next year, we have to do it now. How many more people will die before this country says enough is enough? I'll say today, it's enough. So Director Ray, thank you for being here today. As the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, you have a critically important job. You have to protect our country from threats of terrorism and crimes, both foreign and domestic. And doing that, while you're doing it, you have to uphold the uh, rights and values that make this a great democracy. I don't envy that task, and I respect that task. But the heinous mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, earlier this month, is a stark reminder that domestic terrorism is still very much present in the United States. It's also a somber reminder that the majority of domestic terrorism perpetrated against innocent Americans is driven by those espousing white supremacists and racist ideologies. Now, that's not a controversial statement, it's a simple fact. And that's what makes this moment so dangerous. When facts are distorted into untruths and parroted by those with a pulpit to do so, we tread dangerously far from the core tenets of our democracy. We can't clearly and unequivocally condemn the actions of white supremacists or simply acknowledge the January 6, 2021 attack on our capital for what it was, an insurrection, we fan the flames of hatred and violence and we allow them to grow. It's alarming to me. It should be to every American. It is in my state of Vermont, whether you're Republicans or Democrats, independents, it's alarming. But it also further highlights the importance of the work of the dedicated men and women of the Bureau and your leadership there, Director Ray. Each year, this Appropriations Committee will wrestle with how best to dedicate valuable taxpayer dollars. 
Next week, I'm going to have binders about this thick. My home in Vermont where it's nice and quiet, reading through all these budget requests. But in exchange, of course, for the money we send, we expect the FBI to confront forcefully, head to head, the threat to domestic terrorism. We expect you to faithfully and fully adhere to the rule of law to investigate whatever crime is committed, to work with the Department of Justice and state and local law enforcement to hold the perpetrators of any crime accountable. I stand ready to support you, but I also want you to respond when we have questions from either Republicans or Democrats on this committee. So I could say a lot more. I won't. I'd rather hear the director, Chair Shaheen, but thank you for the courtesy.